it off, right? The winner of Artists on the Rise 2022 goes to Lotes and Overpower! The show! Let's fucking go! The winner of 5K, an interview with YFA, legal representation, music distribution and marketing, PR shoot. Let's fucking go! We'll see you at the final for the day. We'll see you at the end. We'll come up, are we? Let's give him a round of applause. When I say Lotus, you say I'm fine. Lotus! Lotus! When I say Lotus, you say Palm. Lotus! Lotus! When I say Lotus, you say Palm. You gon' watch me hop out of the beam. Hop out of the beam, uh, hey, 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 four pipe passenger seat, they just give me the diva. Alright, three to five, yes, ever, nana, cascade. Three to five, yes, ever, nana, cascade. You gon' watch me hop out of the beam, uh, hey, 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 four pipe passenger seat, they just give me the diva. Alright, three to five, yes, ever, nana, cascade. Three to five, yes, ever, nana, cascade. Hey, never know what I'm born. I get to the tip of the year. One of your stents, one of your speed. Passenger seat, they get shit, they get two seats. The seat, they fell off on a month of a day. If you can't get the change of the key, I get start. I was being a same same mega beam. I want to see my sip. I go get a king cut. I go in a mine. I go up by the house. Get through two five with the dinner. I said, Tracy, get beam. I love panda la mutiga speak. I get honey, only super mara baby girl. And I go below to win this game. Finally, Bob, I get two till it top. I get skip. Bigger <laughs> 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 Wait, Marvo, I just did that's why I get up till up Brooklyn. That's why I'm not Brooklyn. You're Brooklyn. Such a Brooklyn. I'm not a pen anymore. It's not your owner.
I'm gonna say it's pounds. You see pounds, like <laughs> you're in my mind right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Selena Gomez coming through with Ray, and it's playing right here on the Tax FM 107.2. Still hanging out with pounds in studio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's talk about your EP, Hood Misunderstood. Um, I feel like we are reading a journal of some of your deepest thoughts and emotions, and um, with your track Karma Delivery, you speak about wishing you had confidence in your life and um, you wishing that that confidence was the same that the, con the same confidence that you have while you on stage was confidence something that you often struggled with um, I, I wouldn't really say it's confidence maybe I think I have social anxiety or okay something. yeah, yeah. So I battle with that but yeah because I, I realized when I'm on stage people see me as that person who's out there and then when they meet me in my personal space they be like yo What's up? What's up? So yeah. yeah, it's been it's been about that. So I just wish um, everything was like was the same. But in the end of the song, I'm saying or like um, actually maybe it's a blessing that it's like this. You feel okay. Like, Why do you feel that way though? That it's a blessing. Um, I feel like I avoid a lot of things. Some people some people say I'm not approachable. So I feel like maybe I don't really. It's because then they weren't gonna come and they won't yeah. talk to you. Social anxiety won't start. Okay, that's completely understandable. I get that. Um, and you with this EP, you're honestly so vulnerable. Why was it important for you to um, open up yourself in this way to your fans? Okay, so someone told me that like uh, us musicians, we are messengers to the crowd. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So I had to dig in deep and lay out something that people will relate to and feel. Yeah. Like that was that was what I was trying to achieve. Something that people will feel. Not just music you'll play and then tomorrow you just yeah, you forgot about it. Yeah. So, yeah. No, I love that. And also, I love when I was listening to your EP. I love that, you know, in one way it may mean something to you, but like I will translate it and it will mean something completely different to me. And I think that's the beauty of music. And also that's the beauty of like opening up because in your music, I find like parts and emotions of myself that like I didn't know was there. Yeah. And then it causes me to explore and be self-aware. So that's like props to you. And that's the beauty of you as an artist. Um, let me, let me tell me about um, your dreams and your aspirations because you started out you're doing so great what do you see for yourself in the next two to three years um besides that i want to see myself being number one like, yeah <laughs> i want to do more in terms of like um clothes wise mm. and design clothes not just music stuff you feel me uh do events mm. and so yeah i was just I'm gonna do, like, I'm gonna do more. I'm gonna do more things. I love that. I'm excited to see all those things that you're gonna do. And um, before you um, go, can you give us advice for, like, can you give advice to any artist that is wanting to be on the big homecoming um, stage like you're gonna be in a bit? What can you tell them? Uh, I'm gonna tell them to just keep on, just keep going, do mm. what they do best, and everything will be, yeah, will, will align, I guess. And it will just flow. Yeah. No, that's true. Just not worry about like what people are saying. Yeah, just let them do what they want to do, and everything will align. That's some incredible advice. I love that, Paul. Thank you so much. Yeah. Ooh. There we go. And we're playing your song. Is it ever like a weird, like not weird, but like surreal experience? That yeah, every time. Oh, that's, okay, wait, so please can you just stay? Did Ruby reply to you? No, Where is Ruby? she hasn't. Where is Ruby? I'm really okay. scared. Oh, shit. Ruby! Fuck up on your